So we've got a, a situation here with a, uh, a farmer, a child, is entrapped in a grain bin. We've got plastic coffers here, and we'll be placing these on each side of the victim. These are actually going to protect the victim from the corn to keep the corn from collapsing in on them. Um, we can also work on trying to, to pull him out with a couple people. You ready here? We go one, two, three. Okay. He's got himself. With us being the only ones with this system within a quite a long range, it may take us a while to get uh, where we need to go. So it, it may be more of a recovery than it will be uh, of a rescue, but we always hope that we can. Rising Sun, pretty quiet town. It's one of those places where you can ride your bicycles around. Spent a lot of time playing basketball on the basketball courts. Had quite a few friends. When I wasn't with friends, I was on the farm working. It was like the coolest thing to do was to come to the farm and work. But now it's all mechanized and it's kind of fewer people, bigger machines. My first job was in seventh grade. It felt like real life hit me already, and I matured a lot faster than I would say others. As a kid, I took care of the calves and put out hay, used to raise tobacco, and we stripped a lot of tobacco. I remember as a kid sitting in the stripping room all night and all day, ready to get out of there. That kind of set me up to doing a lot more, taking a lot more responsibilities. I try to stay out of the gossip and the drama and all that. I usually mind to myself. And I try to make friends with everybody and, you know, hey, how you doing? Hope you have a good day. I think that's where I kind of meet standards with everybody. Obviously, with all the wet weather, we're kind of limited to field work. So we'll work uh, just on maintenance stuff and getting things caught up. Does that mean we get extra days off? We might get off in a half hour early <laughs> if we work really fast. Um, but, uh, we, we've been when we were kids, that. Dad was so busy, we didn't really see him very much. So we rode around with my grandpa, and he'd let us drive in the fields. So we were driving tractors and trucks when we were like seven or eight. And then once we started getting a little older, we slowly kind of worked into adult life on the farm. You put in all the sweat and tears, you get them in the ground, they grow. in a sense, like a your own kid. The farm where it's at now, to get to this size, it took five generations. To know all the work and sweat and blood that went into this place, more than just a farm, it's just home. transportation time, you know, and I'm starting to add up these costs. And sometimes we get in a hurry. You know, last year we lost 25 people due to a farming accident. So if I use this bin as the example, I thought you want to come up here and give me a hand. You know, the grain bin's about half full. All right, we got a guy here. And usually there's a little noise going on, right? Right. What happens right off the bat? And he's yelling, stop, 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 stop. You can't hear him. Have we lost a guy already? Can we find him? 
And you know, you take one of these great big grain bins, how am I going to scoop him out? And think about it. We don't want to lose anybody, right? <clears throat> we don't want to lose people. You know, in life, there's always rules. And we don't always like them, but it is for everybody's best interest because it's not going to happen to me. It's actually happened just recently. The gentleman, he's probably mid-50s. He was in a bin, and it was down to the bottom in the center, but it was piled really high on the edge. Well, he was trying to dig it and pull the grain down while the corn collapsed and came down on him. His foot got caught in the auger, so he was stuck there. It's so loud. You know, you can't yell, really. And he wouldn't have been able to yell at him. You know, it's just one of those things. It's just like being underwater. As soon as he took a breath, corn went in, and, and then that, that was pretty much it, I think. Anytime something like that happens, it's a shock through the community. And you're like, it's kind of a wake up call, and it's a reminder that, you know, what we're doing is not entirely safe. I'm on it. 911, what's your emergency? I'm stuck in a in the grain bin out at the mill in Mocow, Illinois. Okay, give me your address. Oh, my God, we need everything. Grain really? bags, K-12 blades to cut into the bin. We need approximately 12 semis for unloading grain. Can you have them go to Eastland Seed and pick up their grain tube? Pick up the grain tube for Go, go. I started dating this girl. Her name's Courtney Gallian. We've been dating for three months now. I mean, I'm I'm really happy. She's a good girl. Hopefully, buy a house and some land one of these days. You know, start building a family. I mean, I'm right on the edge of the real world. Well, I stripped the headliner out. I didn't have a dome light, so I put the LEDs in it. And the floor lights, they were just cool. Looks good, Brad. Thanks. I've always grew up around here, and got like it here. I'd plan on keep farming and, you know, kind of make it bigger if I can. Something I'm good at and I don't want to, you know, throw it away. My goal would be is if I had a child that wanted to come back and farm, then I would be able to do that. Financially, farm size, that sort of thing. Same thing my dad did for me. He loves tractors and the farm. When we go by, he's like, ride, ride. You know, he wants to go to the farm. So it's a neat industry to be involved in because you can be with your family and still work. As far as dangerous jobs, the grain bin, it's a deal. Because, I mean, you can be gone in an instant. And it's not just me, it's my wife. Adler. You know, it's their whole support system too. So if I go, their whole way of life is gone. It's always in the back of your head. Is it worth it getting in the spin right now? 